Hi, everybody. I'm Lian Duan. Today, we are going to talk about install Helm 3 with Minikube on Windows 10. The topics I'm going through in this video are how to find compile Helm 3 version, run hands-on demo install Helm 3, add and update Helm repositories, check Helm client studies, First topic, find a compatible Helm 3 version. Version format is x.y.z. x means major version, y means minor version, z is patch version. When a new version of Helm is released, it is compiled against a particular minor version of Kubernetes. For example, Helm 3.0.0 interacts with the Kubernetes using the Kubernetes 1.16.2 client. So it is compatible with Kubernetes 1.16. Helm is assumed to be compatible with N-3 of version Kubernetes. N is minor version. Let's check Kubernetes version first. If you didn't install Minikube on your Windows box yet, please check below link to install Minikube on Windows first. Let's check Minikube version. Use command kube control space version. Kubernetes client version is v1.19.7. v1 is major version, 19 is minor version, 7 is patch version. Next, based on the Kubernetes version to find compatible Helm version, open the link. Compatible Helm version is 3.5.x. 3 is major version, 5 is minor version, x is patch version. And then find the download link. The latest compatible version is Helm v3.5.4. Windows MD. CD4 is download link. Click Download complete. Second topic, hands-on demo. Install Helm 3. Download successfully and then unzip the file. Unzip the file. I use the 7-zip. If you not install 7-zip, can use the extract out directly. Unzip the file. There is only one file, helm.exe. Copy entire folder to program files folder. Next, add the helm.exe to pass. Copy the path. Select this PC and then go to the Properties menu. Select Advanced System Settings. Open Environment Variables. Find the path. Double click. Click New button. Paste the path. Click three times OK button. Close the windows. Open the terminal window to test the Helm command. I open the terminal directly in the VS code. Or you can open the command window to test Helm command. 
Helm Command running successfully because I added the Helm Command path in the system invariable. Test in the integrated terminal in VS Code. If the terminal show cannot find Helm Command, please close and reopen your VS Code. And then retry Helm Command. Next topic, hands-on demo for Helm repository. Helm repository is a place where charts can be collected and shared. For adding the Helm repo, I run two steps, add Helm repo and update repo. Add repo command is Helm space repo space add plus local repository name and the remote repository URL. Copy and paste six Helm repo add command and run. Running successfully. There is show stable already existing with the same configuration skipping because I test this command before our class. If you run two times all the commands, you'll see same result as my screen. Second step, update the repo. Command is helm space repo space update. Update completed. Check my local repo. Command is helm space repo space list. The result is all available helm repo in my local system. Latest topic for today. Check Helm client status. Run Helm search repo index. The command used to find index chart in repositories. There is a result that means Helm client and Helm repository were set up successfully. Helm hack will show all Helm client commands. The hack is used for command. When you forget it, Helm command or command parameters, you can find all details with help command. We are done all topics for today. Today we learned how to find a compatible Helm 3 version with Kubernetes. And run two hands-on demo, install Helm 3, and set up local Helm 3 repositories. Latest check Hume Client. Thank you for you watch this video. I hope it was help. And it was. Do not forget to like it. If you want to be notified whenever a new video comes out, then subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or something was not clear in the video, Please post them in comment section below, and I will try to answer. Thank you and see you in the next video.